Hey, what's up, what's up? Here I am again. This time we have sunny that. Uh, very good working condition. DTC 690. And it's kind of, let's say, basic that from Sony because you don't have few luxuries. But again, it's completely functional device, even without remote control. Mm, there are few things that are on remote control that you don't have on a device. I'm gonna show it here. I think that's interesting. Right now we are recording some jazz uh, in LP, long mode. Look at that, long mode, long mode. I don't, could be that it's gonna pick up copyright only for a three second sample. <laughs> it has very crisp and bright display, which means the device was not working too much. Uh, look at the, it's pretty much clear. Maybe a few blemishes or uh, probably with a little bit of cleaning that all will be sorted out. But the deck is playing perfectly, working perfectly. And it has scratches on the cover like here. Uh, maybe one here. I don't know, couple of, what is this on the top? You know, yeah, here, some of it here, but that's all on the, on the, on the sides and on the top. If you put some device on the top, you, you won't even notice that. It's re really in good working condition. It works perfectly fine. That's why I'm recording this tape on it. And the proud owner of this device will will get this tape. So if you like jazz, and if you like that, this is gonna be a fine purchase. <laughs> now let's talk about what's missing on this, uh, let's say, basic Sony that. If we compare it with uh, some of, it, of these, a little bit more advanced Sony that. You see, this is kind of older model. Ha! DTC 700. Even if it's, if it looks, it's just a little bit up. It's it's the older model, but better. Mm -hmm. And this is newer and also better model 5090s. On both of devices, you have a counter mode, absolute time, program time, remaining, and I don't know what is this. Absolute. But, Anyway, you have four. Here, when you press on counter mode, you have three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So you don't have a program time. You don't know exactly uh, the track number 24. Is it like a five minutes, six minutes? So if you are freak, <laughs> you want to see your time on the on the, that uh the the track playing time this is not a that for you if you are a freak about that if you are a listener who just wants to play and and, and you know like listen to the whole thing or skip couple of the tracks or something this is the perfect that for you <laughs> i have to mention that the other thing i have to mention with this device if you don't have a remote control is this uh margin you see the margin so when you're recording analog source as I'm doing right now I'm using my CD player that and I put it in an analog because the CD player only have analog output I use the analog RCA cable to connect it with that and here you can see also that I choose analog instead of optical or coaxial. And I choose long play, which means that this tape will be, uh, usually should be two hours, but now it's gonna be four hours of jazz. So with this, that, 
and with this tape you will have four hours of music. <laughs> and you don't need internet connection. <laughs> so yeah, what, what is this about margin? So if you have original Sony that remote control, you would have that margin reset button. And if you are recording the tape and you go over the top, this will flash, see. I'm gonna turn out the volume. And now it's gonna f keep flashing for the rest of the life. <laughs> Unless you have this remote. And you can press on margin, reset, and reset that margin, puff. Now we are back in the game again. Oh, it's it's over again. Let's reset it again. Margin reset. Puff. So that's it with the remote control. And if everything is work fine, it's gonna index this track as 25th, the next one. Why? Because I put it in auto in the six. Oh, it's 25th. Perfect. Now look at the margin. Five decibel, minus five. Copyright, here I come. But basically, it it's the best thing it, if you can make it to be 0 0.5 or zero. But if it goes over, it's gonna flash. And if you don't have remote, it's gonna be, if you have OCD and you don't have remote, it's going to be very stressful. That's why I'm selling this remote control on eBay for 100, 200 bucks, because it's brand new. For people who have that OCD, this is the solution. I'm just kidding. You can buy other remotes on eBay for 20, 30 bucks that also have a reset button so you can reset your margin. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying it was bothering me all the time. I used to record the vinyl records maxi singles and that thing would go over and if i don't have remote i wouldn't know where i am at i like to see minus 1.5 i like to see that <laughs> you know what i mean yeah basically it's a great unit so i'm gonna list it on ebay because it's perfectly serviced and i tested it and i did recorded a couple of tapes on it and I played tapes from the Panasonic units and I played tapes from the Tascam units. I have Tascam. Yeah, it's here. There are two here. So I have it, I have it. I have other Sony units. Everything works working fine. This thing is ready to be used for many years and it looks good. It's not shabby, it's not scratched. I mean, there is a couple of, look at them, a small dent or something. But <laughs> compared to other stuff that you can find on eBay, this is really a good catch, if you ask me. But again, I'm a seller. <laughs> no, I'm not a really a seller. This was my, ho this is my hobby. I like to repair stuff and if I do something good, if I service something good, I like, I would sell it and go to the next project because this project is finished and it's working just fine. I'm very satisfied. There is something with the sound of the DAT and CD player and all that old vintage stuff. I don't know what, I have digital audio cards, like a proper digital audio cards, but the sound is still kind of a little bit softer with those older digital audio converters. I don't know, maybe I'm getting older. <laughs> Who knows, take care.